Hey guys, Shaggy, here you Kigay, G Unit, so I put together a random track with a bunch of props and checkpoints, a little route to just to test out the Karuma, the armored version, and the Sultan. And it turned out to be pretty decent, you know, quite quite good for contact racing. Here you show you an example, as well as uh, a little bit of uh, just general personal testing when it comes to patience, throttle control, and really understanding the car on these ter terrains because off road is a lot of variables with little bumps and whatnot to really understand the route and the track. You have to be willing to learn it first of all. There's quite a few people that tried it for the first time and started complaining right away with this particular checkpoint. And I'll explain that because the intentions behind it is quite straightforward. You can see now there's two different routes you can take from, and it's really down to you how you want to play it. If you can play it safe, you can take the left route with no props. If you want to go for the quickest line, which is on the inside, you saw these guys go through a little obstacle course with tire stacks placed where if you do make a mistake, you have to face the consequences with the car going to a standstill but whereas on the left side you got a little bit of leeway and you can really take a breather but you have to face the extra distance you have to cover in order to get to the other side to meet up with the inside guys so you saw a little explosion there and a little failure of the recording there I don't know if something happened but I think it was I don't know I'm not sure if it was due to the explosion but some guy went off the tracks it's slightly a deadly track man if you're not paying attention you can easily lose control and that's what was one of these one of the reasons why I do really like this track Although, I did not intend it for this sort of racing, but from this, you can somewhat get a perspective of what to expect if everyone on, in the lobby is in the same mindset of being patient and really wanting to understand the car. And it gets a little bit bumper grindy, but you can go for some overtakes, you can defend, there's a lot of freedom, a lot of people don't seem to see that. You know, although this few sections quite tight, but it's got a nice little balance, quite a technical track. So you can try it out for yourself, you can see right now, for example, these guys taking it inside. But I didn't want to end up going through that because if the person in the front made a mistake, there'll be a pileup. So to take the safe route, I went on the left side and of course meeting these guys there. It turns out there's not a little bump. There's not even an air time there. There's no bump. So these guys sort of having to deal with that at the same time on the exit. So it's definitely interesting. You know, um, like I said, once again, apologies for the Xbox community out there. I honestly don't have the time to recreate tracks. And also, there's a lot of tracks that I'm planning to make to do with this rally sort of stuff this is one of the inspirations behind it from just testing this and because you see there you know if you're not paying attention it's quite easy to make a mistake so yeah link in the description below if you want to try it so let's talk a little bit about the three cars now as we're getting into the laps so first bit was just showcasing a track to get a better understanding now it's about pushing these cars to its limits see the differences in lap times and why they do occur in the first place now the Sultan is one of those cars where it carries a lot of speeds around corner because of his turning circle. However, you, it's more of a rolling in motion when you take these corners. If you give gas as you take in a corner, you're going to get the mega understeer. But if you let the car roll in, then you can generate the power quickly that way. However, during that process, the Karuma is going to take advantage of it because all you got to do with the Karuma is brake and then literally turn as you're rolling in and you can instantly shoot out of these corners because the power generated through the Karuma is absolutely insane. You're mostly generating the power through the front wheels of that car and it sticks really well. So with this car, although it's quite efficient, you can maneuver really well under these conditions, uh, you're kind of having to deal with the lack of performance. You know, it doesn't have great traction. Like I said, when you're going uphill and downhill, it's extremely slow and it's just, you can just listen to the sound of the car and paying attention to how much power it's actually generating. It's, it's not much, you know, he's just having to deal with it and he's quite slow on these terrains you know 108.4 is what I managed on this track as opposed to now we're gonna move on to the Karuma you see a huge difference simply because of its traction and also its brakes helping out as well the Karuma's brakes actually really awesome on these terrains you know if you brake early and then you let the car roll in the turning circle activates and you can generate the power quickly and when you generate that power the acceleration the car just shoots I look at this it shoots straight through this course like tight stacks are not even there this is the armored version by the way not the normal one and even the armored version just goes flying so i'm currently chasing murph right now and he's in the i believe the normal version the thing that the difference obviously between the two is that this is obviously heavier uh, but this one wants to stick more so if you're given a lot of bumps you're better off with this however you have to deal with the understeer due to its weight so you're having to brake early so when you brake in early you're having to deal with that time loss I suppose where uh, the normal Karuma is sort of just gonna, uh, you know, bend it, sort of take the advantage of its uh, maneuvering over the armored version and sort of just take off every corner. 
And so it's a nice little balance. It really depends on the driving style, what you guys like. You, know, you can either choose between normal one or the, the uh, armored one, but the normal one's got more freedom. You can do a lot more with it. But look at the difference now. 108.4 with the Sultan, 104.432 with the armored one. That, that's a huge difference there. Never up exactly four seconds. And you see here, I was getting consistently 104s with the normal one here on this particular attempt. Uh, uh, it was just one of those things where it's extremely easy to maneuver on these conditions. It just wants to stick. And if you break, and if you get the braking points right and break early and let the car roll in, get the next apex corner and going, and it's just being patient before the bumps or jumps do occur. You're letting go of the throttle, just really managing that. And just, you know, it's really, it feels great. It feels great with this car, man. Honestly, gotta give it a go, man. Do some racing with this with your friends, whatnot. It's sick. On that section, you break early, let the car roll in. If you be patient with this, you're going to get rewarded. Simple as, because if you think about the power you generate from the front wheels of this car, it's insane, right? So you let the, you let the car roll in, be patient, and then bang, you floor it as the car straightens up, and you're shooting off. You're literally shooting off, man. And you can li literally just roll this car in if you let go of the throttle. You know, it's, the handling's not even that bad on these conditions. And now you see pretty much a 104 on the dot. 104.030 which is really damn quick so hopefully you guys have now somewhat of a perspective between all three and how good they are of course with the armored version the normal version of the karuma is really down to your preference but you're going to be better off with the karuma of the normal one as you've got more freedom with it so thanks for watching if you guys find it useful let me know in the comments below drop a like on the video i'll be greatly appreciated subscribe for more gta 5 videos check you sign now good night peace yeah Higashi, you hear about KKA Genius? So recently, of course, the F1 season has begun in real life. So this is the perfect time to start up another season on GTA 5 as an F1 championship.